Hey everybody, it's Marshmunk here. Fuller House came on, I believe, yesterday on Netflix, so I wanted to do a top five moments for the pilot. I'm going to be reviewing all of the episodes, so what I'm going to be doing is doing a top five moments for the first episode. I'm going to be doing a two through three, four through five, things like that. And then the last episode, I'll probably do like a top five moments for that too. So let's get on with these top five moments. So number five, the family is all together, plus new addition. So this was amazing. Like, this is just the best thing. Like, seeing everyone there, like, you see Jesse, you see Joey, you see, like, you see Beck, you just see everyone. Like, you see, um, Nikki, and you, you just see everybody. You, everybody's there, except for Michelle, which they make a really fun joke about. And that's kind of like the Easter egg. They say she's running her fashion empire. That was just hilarious, like, seeing Mary-Kate and, like, the Mary-Kate and Ashley, like, kind of like an Easter egg reference, like, to the, uh, New York fashion empire that they're actually doing was just hilarious. But seeing everybody there, and the new additions, which are, um, DJ's kids, we've got, uh, their oldest, Jackson, then Max, and then we have Tommy. So she's pretty, it's pretty cool to have them. It's kind of like the turn tables. A lot of people think that it's kind of weird that they chose the same plot for this show that was Full House, but it works. Because it's like, it's so cool. Because it's like, you know, it's kind of just like so nostalgic and so new and modernized that it's it's new on its own. So I feel like that's what, you know, everybody thinks is good for it, which is cool. But yeah, we see everybody back and it's so see, good to see everybody like come in and everyone cheer. And it's so awesome to see that. It was really cool. So moving on to the number four. So are you guys ready? Number four. Number four, the going away party. So they kind of had this huge going away party for everybody. You see everybody there. And it really is really nice to see them all having this go away party that apparently Kimmy Gibbler planned. Yes, she's a, a, an event planner now, I guess. And she had like a plan this whole thing. She was just like, hey, I'm, I'm part of like this Gibbler event planning thing. So it was really cool to see that she kind of planned the party, which was really cool. And she cleaned it up too. Her cleanup crew came and did it too. So that, that was really cool that that's her job. But it was really nice to see that everybody was there, and it was really nice to see them partying. Like, you got the twins in this area, and you have, like, all the, the newer kids, like the new cast uh, in this area. And then you have DJ, and you have Stephanie, you know, everybody's just partying, and it's really cool to see that they're all having this, like, really nice party of them going their separate ways. And someone going to L.A. in this area, someone going to this area of L.A., someone going here and here. So I really like that. And that leads me on to my number three. So my number three is, of course, you guys know this, the Forever song. I loved hearing it, like, all of them sing it. It was really cool. Jesse started out singing it, then everybody else chimed in. It was really fun to see that as well. And it was just, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful moment for all of them. Like, I think the whole first episode is a paid homage to them all, and just coming back to that place and seeing them all again. Obviously, you know, the, ne the other episodes are, like, aren't like that. They're a little different. They're, like, you know, their own storylines. But this one's kind of good, and I, that, that was one of the biggest moments to me. Uh, then my number two, we're going to go on to my number two, it's the, I think, it, what, that wasn't it number two? Yeah, number two, the Flintstones song. So they kind of did like a side-by-side -side parallel when they did the Flintstones song with Michelle, then they also did the Flintstones songs, or the Flintstones song with, um, Tommy. So that was really cool too. Really interesting to see that as well. Kind of, it, it really makes you feel like this is like a really, it's a different scenario. It's modernized, it's newer. And it's just really, it's something to, to love, something else to love. Even though it's the same, kind of the same cast a little bit, with new characters, of course. But it's still kind of different, and it's kind of their own story. But, and it shows it with this two parallels side by side, and I like that. And moving on to my number one. Yes, that is right. But before we get to our number one, I actually wanted to throw in this honorable mention. The honorable mention is the theme song. Oh my gosh, that theme song is so good. It's so vibrant, and so colorful, and so beautiful. It's so, it's really, really great. I really love it. But, you know, it was a really nice theme song, and I could jam out to it every time it comes on. It's so nice. But let's get on to my number one, and my number one is DJ's Heartfelt Moment. I feel like this was one of the best things of the episode, probably the best thing of the episode, is hearing DJ through this hard time. Like, she's so stubborn, like um, um, Stephanie said, she's so uh, stubborn that she can't ask for help, and she really needs help, and she's going through this hard time like her father did. And it's really, But it's interesting because she's a single mom, she's a single mother, and that's really hard to do. So I think that it was really interesting to see her go through this and, you know, Stephanie and uh, Kimmy kind of say, hey, you know what, we're going to help you because that's, you know, we owe it to you. Really thought it would have been interesting if Michelle would have been there and she would have chimed into, but of course, you know. But, you know, if Michelle's not on there, I think I mentioned that in my first video because I finished the whole, recorded the whole video and then it, and then it wouldn't edit, so I'm re-recording it. But I think that I said that uh, earlier. If not, yeah, she can't be there. And I love the whole nod to it, like, you know, when they said, She's off and running her fashion empire in New York. Yeah, yeah, that thing. I don't know if I mentioned that before or not, because I have to re-record this whole thing. But if I didn't, there you go. Um, so, you know, wouldn't it be cool if she was there to chime in, too? 
But anyway, it was really nice seeing them go through this moment, and I really like where they're taking it. And they're going to help out, and it's going to be really fun. But it was a really nice episode, really heartfelt, really cool, and it pays homage to the original series. But what did you guys think of the episode? Comment down below. And if you didn't, I don't know if I said this or not in my previous video, my pre previous clip that I'm going to try to edit in here. But I am going to uh, be reviewing the whole, se the whole season, so it's going to be really interesting. I'm already on episode 4 right now. I have to complete that one, and I'm going to be moving on. So what did you guys think of it? Comment down below. Links up there to my other videos. Links in there to my Twitter, Instagram, Vine, vlog channel, and channel. Don't forget to follow and subscribe those. Other than that, like and favorite this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.